The governor's proposed a carbon tax that he says will go after the biggest polluters to fund education. What do you think about his proposal? Well, I think if you tax any large business, like every large business, when you add cost to their cost, those costs ultimately end up on the retail price of an item, which means we all pay that. So what happens is it's a tax on everybody, not on large business. Indirect taxation is still taxation. You know, second, and if we prioritize education, we don't have to leave our classrooms up to politics. If we fund education first, we don't have to worry about the carbon tax being used late in the game to try and leverage some sort of a tax increase because it's necessary to meet McClary. Let's fund education first, and this will be a moot point. There's also been a proposal to increase the minimum wage to $12. What do you think? Well, I understand the initial support. Prices are going up and everything, costs are going up, and who doesn't want to earn more? The problem is, what they're attempting to accomplish, they don't accomplish here. There's a tool that economists use called the Gini coefficient out there, and the Gini coefficient measures the disparity in income throughout the several states relative to the several states. What they do is they try and figure out what the minimum wage in the states are relative to the income disparity. It's funny that seven out of 10 of the highest minimum wage states out there have the lowest coefficient of income equality. The states with the federal minimum wage, however, 725 an hour have the highest index of income equality. So the proposal to increase the minimum wage to $12, $15, whatever they have proposed, was attempted to accomplish some sort of a, uh, a wage equality. In fact, it doesn't. You've had some constituents from Spokane visit you here in Olympia. Who's visited? Oh, we've had several people. We've had Steve Stevens, that's the new executive director from uh, Greater Spokane Incorporated that replaced Rich Hadley. A man is absolutely brilliant and he's on the ball attempting to follow up with the program they have to compel economic development and attract business to Spokane. City Councilman John Snyder from Spokane also was here. Absolutely great to visit with him and to find out with economic development. We have goals that, that are, are almost parallel. There's so much in common. Uh, Susan Meyer from Spokane Transit Authority showed up. And even former County Commissioner Mark Richard from the Downtown Spokane Partnership. These are all part of a, a, a greater group that seems to be moving along the, the same lines and the same goals uh, that they're attempting to accomplish. We had the Eastern Washington University President Mary Cullinan showed up too, which is absolutely a wonderful visit and find out exactly how Eastern is still remaining one of the best deals in education for a state university and providing over 25% of their total graduating class is still in some STEM discipline. Spokane County Treasurer Rob Chase also showed up and Stacy Clem is an advocate for the DD community also came and we had a long talk, a lot of different things that we tend to agree on too.